For this question, we are given a table of the values, and as you can see on the top, we have the input, and then on the bottom right here, we have the output. So be really careful. T is the input, and H of T is the output. And pay attention to the following questions. For the first one, we are going to evaluate the following. We have negative 2 times, whenever there's nothing in between of a number and a letter, this means we are going to multiply. Right? So negative 2 times H of negative 3, and then we will add H of 6. So here is the deal. Pay attention to h of negative 3 first. This is telling us that the input is negative 3. So I will just look and see that we have negative 3 right here for the input. And the output is negative 7. So that means h of negative 3 is negative 7. And of course, we'll just write that down. In the front, we still have the negative 2. But this is negative 7. And we will also have to keep a parenthesis because we will have to multiply this and that. Next, we are going to just bring down the plus, and then we have the h of 6. So t, namely the input, is 6. So we look, here is the 6, and then you see the output is negative 6. So this is going to give us negative 6, like this. And of course, we can just work this out now. Two negative 2 times negative 7, this is positive 14. And then positive times negative is going to be minus 6. And all in all, 14 minus 6, we end up with 8. So this right here is the answer. The answer is 8. Part B, we are going to find the average rate of change from negative 3 to 3. And again, this will be the input values from negative 3 to 3. All right, here we go. Remember the formula, the average rate of change. Well, we have to find the value of the function first. S3 and then minus at negative 3. So I will just put it down as h of positive 3 and then minus h of negative 3, like this. And then don't forget, we have to divide it by 3 minus, and this right here is another negative, so it looks like this. So we have to do the following. Now, have a look. What's h of 3 though? Well, again, we go back, we know the t is equal to 3, the input is 3. The output is negative 5, so we have negative 5 right here. This is negative 5, and then we are going to minus, and then h of negative 3, we just look here, right, that's the input negative 3, the output is negative 7, so this is going to be negative 7, let me put a parenthesis down like that, because I have to multiply negative and negative right here. And then on the bottom, let me just keep it for now, because this is just 3 minus negative 3, all right, let's see what we have. This right here, on the top, we have negative 5 plus 7. All right, just keep that in mind. This is the same as a negative 5 plus 7. Negative times negative is plus 7. Likewise, on the bottom, we have 3 minus minus becomes a plus. So we have 3 plus 3, like that. So if you work this out, negative 5 plus 7, we end up with 2. On the bottom, 3 plus 3 is, of course, we know 6. And finally, just reduce that, divide the top by 2, and divide the bottom by 2. So in the end, we see that we end up with 1 over 3. So this right here is the final answer. All right, this right here, part C, we are going to solve the equation. You see, we are going to solve h of t is equal to negative 7, we do not know what t is. We do not know what the input is. We only know the output is negative 7. So we are looking at this right here now, and we see we have 1, negative 7 right here. What's the input for that? Well, just look. The input is negative 3. That means our answer here is t. Right? Remember, when you are solving equations, you always have to say t is equal to what? t is equal to negative 3. This right here is the answer for that. One more. We are going to solve the equation as well. h of t is equal to 0. Again, look for the output to be 0. And you see we have this right here, 0. And the input for that was negative 6. So I'll write that down. The first answer is t equals negative 6. Well, if we look again, we have another 0 here. And then you see we have another input that will give us 0. So another answer is t equals 9. So we have negative 6 and positive 9, just like this. So be really careful with all these function notations from the table, etc., etc. That's it.